The following video is brought to you through the generous support of viewers like you. If you like this content, then please consider subscribing, liking, and sharing this video. And for those who are in the position to donate, this channel thanks you. And so does this orange cat. Well, the numbers do not lie. G4, you're a loser! Loser. Mecca, and we already knew a lot of this, but we have solid proof now that the worst, lowest rated and ranked and lowest watched, according to Nielsen, according to the numbers, according to Variety, according to real solid sources, not just rumors, not just we thinks, G4, you, you're awful. You're awful and you're terrible. Did Frost have something to do with tanking it? Without a doubt. I'm, I'm basically getting tired of blaming her at this point. But, you know, she didn't help. They were doomed to fail from the beginning. Without a doubt. Many people have been saying that they were doomed to fail from the beginning because... You don't need G4. We have a million people on YouTube who do exactly what G4 does. Not only that, we have a million more of them on Twitch who do exactly what G4 did. And better to, to begin to, to begin the article, and better at that, I should say. They say the numbers don't lie, and according to the year-end television ratings report from the Nielsen's, Comcast quickly shuttered attempt, Comcast's quickly shuttered attempt at reviving G4 was unsurprisingly an abysmal failure in terms of viewership. There's no hyperbole either. As per an overview of metric analysis agency findings shared by IndieWire, G4 had the worst primetime audience numbers of all 126 standard cable channels offered to American audiences. How bad was G4's 2.0's last place finish? During his brief run from November, what was the last place? That's gonna tell you something. The fuck? From November 21st to October 22nd, the ne network managed to pull an average of only 1,000 viewers during the period of 8 p.m. to 11 p.m. every Monday through Friday because nobody knew where to find it. Is it the same content on Twitch, on Twitter, on YouTube, all at the same time? You don't know what show is when, you don't know what channel to tune into, and if you're like me, you don't even have TV to begin with, so you're looking between like three or four YouTube channels, because somebody decided, oh, we're going to split X-Play off into its own thing. We're going to split, which they probably should have done in the first place, had all the X-Play on one channel, and then all the Attack of the... They, they didn't know what they were doing, they were trying to treat YouTube like a TV network. That sucks. Change it. And then halfway through that, they changed their mind. They did something else. Well, here we go. We have Variety's numbers. The winners are ESPN. The losers, G4. Comcast Sports and Esports Division had tried to relaunch the video gamer-centric network two years ago, but it shut down in October. And it's not hard to see why. G4 was the least watched of every network that Nielsen measures. Dumbass. <laughs> All of them. And averaging a paltry 1,000 in prime time. This is according to Variety, too. Because I had to read it twice. I had to read it from Variety and from, from Bounding here. Here, we got the numbers. We have the chat in front of us. We got the numbers. The most watched networks of 2022 by total viewers. NBC takes the cake. CBS, ABC, Fox. All of these. Zabu's got a Bali. Hello, Zabu. You got a Bali. Meow. Hey, you good boy. Unimos. Unimos did better. <laughs> WE, the game show channel, did better. Sci fi. Well, sci fi's got Resident Alien. That's one of my favorite shows this year. Good night, my sweet hairless monkey. Comedy Central, FXX. What is that? I don't want to know. Oprah's channel, Disney Channel. We're, we're still going. True TV, where you can get reruns of Impractical Jokers from 15 years ago. That was a good show back in the day. Showtime, Hallmark. They keep going and going and going and going. We're still going. How many networks did it <laughs> Keeps going and going and go 159! 159! Oh, that's great. That's hilarious. <laughs> so 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 they did so poorly. They did so poorly that they couldn't even get an accurate number of how many people. You see some of these are in the negative, some of these are in the 
They've got a one. They've got a one out of, and, and that means number of viewers times, add, add three zeros to the, to the end. <laughs> wow. This sucks more than anything that I've ever sucked before. Now here's the top 50, NBC, Fox, ABC. All right, so so here's the top ones, NFL, the 50th place. At least Bounding stopped blaming Frost for this. At least they're saying that according to somebody here, it, it wasn't so much of her. Bounding in a comic zone, Jacob Smith. In the immediate aftermath of G4, even aside from his abysmal choice in hosts, the odds of success for G4 in 2022 were even worse than what they were in the late 2000s, thanks to one simple factor, the internet. Without those like YouTube and Twitch allowing for regular players to make Let's Plays, cover gaming news, and entertain with original content, said Smith. Likewise, eSports has brought a significant rise, both in the popularity and public support of multiplayer games. So, so yeah. I think that the Frost thing gave them a little bit of a boost. I've been saying that for a while because I forgot G4 came back because they just didn't feel that need in my life anymore. I am Mecca and I'll see you guys later. Bye. Thanks for watching. If you liked it, make sure to hit that like button. And if you want to see more, don't forget to subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye. If you don't like it, don't watch it. This sucks. Change it.